So we are working on our cool feature and we are minding our own business when uh, our manager comes uh, to us very uh, worried and tells us that there's a critical bug and we have to leave everything behind and uh, fix it. So, all right, we are have branches, no problem. We are going to fix our bug. For this, we will create a new branch. So, first of all, we need to create a new branch from the master branch. So, with uh, VS Code, I will first of all switch to the main branch and then I will create a new branch. I can create a new branch from the command line with the command git checkout and then the name of the branch. So, this will be fix critical bug like this. All right, all right, it was fixed git checkout minus b because we want to create a new branch all right now we have switched to a new branch called fix critical bug let's fix our critical bug all we did all we had to do inside our test file we are adding a new line right here hey we fixed the bug we fixed the bug all right that's great and maybe in the sample.json let's also add a new entry bug fix critical like this this is fixing our bug that's great let's commit this fixed bug all right let's commit this now we have the option to publish our branch and uh, that's great that vs code this is a more complex uh, operation but vx code uh, will always give give us the right command if i will go to the output of git it will tell me exactly what it uh, what it did it will uh, it Put this branch right there on the github that's great now we are ready to work on our code and now of course since uh, the fixing the bug is uh, very important if i will go to my repository i have to first of all integrate the changes from my critical bug so here i will go directly inside the repository i will compare and pull request I will create a pull request and it will tell me that hey there is no conflicts all right i'm merging this pull request i'm confirming this merge this was merged everything is all right the bug is fixed i can even delete this branch and we are done now i can simply go back to minding my own business and creating my uh, cool feature so i'll switch back to my cool feature branch Let's say that right here I'm adding a very important change. I added a cool feature, all right. And also in the sample.json, I will add a new entry, feature, cool feature. All right, save this, that's great, commit this. And I will say right here, added feature, all right, commit and push, that's great. All we need to do is to integrate our new changes of our feature into the main branch and everything will be all right. Let's go back to our repository, create a pull request, all right, just like we did before, and we have a problem. I will create this pull request, but I see some red something right here, can't automatically brand merge. Well, that's bad. I created this pull request anyway, and it will tell me, hey, there's some conflicting files and you have to fix them. I can even have the option to use a web editor directly from GitHub to fix this, but there's a better way to do it from VS Code. It will be much easier, of course, with more complex files, not the dump files, which I used in this lecture. Well, let's now fix this conflict from VS Code. And what we have to do when we have merge conflicts is to, first of all, get the main branch and merge it inside our feature branch for this i will first call git checkout main so now i'm in my main branch and i have i call a git pull to make sure that i have all the changes from upstream so now i have these files so my main branch inside the locally is up to date with the main branch from remote all right now i can switch back to my feature branch so my feature branch is this one. All right, I switched back to my feature branch and now I need to merge my main branch into my feature branch. For this, I will call git merge main. All right, and I will click on enter and this will be the moment of truth. All right, and we have some exclamation marks also right here in VS Code and red and conflicts and uh, yeah. Well, we can fix them from the source control 
view. We go to the source control view. And if I will open these uh, changes right here, you will see that both of them have uh, exclamation marks because they have commit conflicts because basically the same file was edited from two branches. Let's go to this test.txt and you will see we will get a, uh, let's say, a um, merge view. I have the options to accept the current change accept the incoming change so the incoming change is with blue and it's what ca came back from uh, other branches from uh, upstairs the current change is what i changed i have the option to accept both changes well i will accept both changes and i will save this file all right i now i'm i'm now able to stage this file i will close it and then to the sample.json let's say that maybe this is a more complex point i can't just accept both changes what i have what option i have i have the option to resolve in merge editor and this will simply open a uh, more complex view in which i will see exactly how the result file will look like at the end at the end of this merge so i will let's say that i will accept this incoming i will accept this current like this maybe i don't want it to look like this i don't want separate json object objects for this i will simply manually do this and delete this and basically this was the way this merge editor helped me it helped me to visualize the result of a my merge i will complete this merge and everything is all right now my files are all right i can commit this I can push or sync these changes. All right. And now if I will go back to my pull request, now everything is green because uh, there are no conflicts anymore. We solve them. So I will simply merge this pull request. And both my feature and the bug fix are now inside the main branch and my boss is happy and everybody is happy. I can even delete this branch. So we saw in this uh, lecture how we can fix conflicts with git and vs code.